you're watching Yenim Zawad TV. I'm a business team with you here on yours. Minister of Defense reports that military units of the armed forces of Armenia violated ceasefire a total of 100 times throughout the day. The fifth Global Marco Forum kicked off today on March 16. Nearly 300 representatives from 53 countries attend the fifth Global Marco Forum dedicated to the theme The Future of International Relations, Power and Interest. Among them are presidents of Latvia, Montenegro, Albania, Macedonia, Georgia, and chairman of the presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Addressing at the forum, Azerbaijan President Ilham Aliyev made remarks on Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. President said that the status quo in the Armenia-Azerbaijan Nagorno-Karabakh conflict must be changed. He noted that change in the status quo means the liberation of the occupied Azerbaijan territories. The leaders of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, Minsk Group, co-chairing countries, have repeatedly stated that the status quo must be changed. It means the liberation of Azerbaijan territories from Armenian occupation, said President Aliyev. Aliyev also made remarks on Baku Tbilisi Cars Railway and noted that it will connect not only countries but continents as well. The forum will end on March 17. The resolutions passed in order to put an end to the occupation of Palestine and Nagorno-Karabakh must be implemented, said Saudi Arabia's Prince Turki Al-Faisal, chairman of King Faisal Center for Research and Islamic Studies. He made the remarks addressing a panel discussion entitled The Future of International Relations, held as a part of the 5th Global Baku Forum today. As we have already seen, in the light of Syrian and Nagorno-Karabakh conflicts, the powerless of international community and the reluctance of the US and Russia to resolve these conflicts have brought on far greater problems. A new idea is required for the United Nations member countries and the five permanent members of the UN Security Council, said the Saudi prince. Average annual inflation in Azerbaijan will make up 9% in 2017, the experts' Fitch rating said at the 6th annual conference in Azerbaijan. The experts said the average annual inflation will reduce to 5% in 2018. In 2016, the inflation, inflation made up 12.4%. Uh, According to the Azerbaijan forecast, the average annual inflation will be 7.3% this year. Fitch forecast the monetary rate against dollar with standard 1.76 uh, in 2017 and 1.7 in 2018. The experts say oil price will be $45 a barrel in 2017, 55 in 2018. Large countries have created tradition of trade festival and these festivals cause tourist floor. In the festival, the tourists not only trade but also familiarize with historical monuments, culture of the country, said the Minister of Culture and Tourism, Abulfaz Karayev. The minister told that the trade festival is the first practice in Caucasus and Middle Asia. Every country should have typical feature. The trading activity in the world ranks at second force in the tourism market. Trade festivals have such a personal impact of, on tourist flow. During the festival, tax-free will be applied. This practice doesn't exist anywhere. It will be applied in Azerbaijan for the first time. We expect good results from this practice, said Garayev. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.